Hi, and welcome to the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen, sponsored by TSET. I'm Heidi. I am here with Chef Val from OUTU School of Community Medicine. Always a pleasure to have you here. I learn tons of stuff all the time. And I am going to probably just let you take the lead and teach me. What are we working on today? Okay, so we're going to have a frittata today, a veggie frittata. There are a lot of different kinds of frittata. This one in particular is a potato vegetable frittata, so it's layered. And then eventually we're going to pour this egg mixture. So, okay. so just some uh, whisked up eggs and a little bit of milk or water. Okay. Okay, so already in the pan, we have layered um, a layer of tomatoes, mm -hmm. a layer of zucchini, a layer of spinach, and then I've started again with a layer of potatoes. So you're just on repeat, just filling up the pan. Yes, and so this is a very versatile recipe. You could be, like you said earlier, we could do a refrigerator clean out with this, and you could do tomatoes, different kinds of squash. That would be my plan. Like yes. <laughs> throwing together whatever I might have. But sure, me open too. to whatever your favorites are or whatever you might have available to you. Yeah, whatever your family happens to like. I mean, you could put um, frozen vegetables in here. It would be totally fine. Okay. But this is just going to get layered together. And that bottom layer, when we get to the um, finished product, you'll see it gets pretty brown. And then we're going to pour the egg mixture on top of it. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to continue to cook with some foil or a pan on it. You could stick it in the oven to so finish cooking it. So everything stays right in the pan. Everything, One thing meal, basically. Yes, it is. And so the eggs offer a lot of good protein. You have a lot of good fiber and lots of micronutrients from all those vegetables. And so every layer is going to get a tiny sprinkle of salt okay. and pepper. You could put fresh herbs, dried herbs in here. So we have some green onion that we use for garnish, but that could absolutely go in there. So Red again, pepper. versatile to what you might have available to you. Totally. Okay. Totally. I, I hate to buy a bunch of vegetables for a recipe. If I have a bunch of vegetables in my refrigerator, I really try hard to switch those out. Right. And yeah. then you're not wasting. You're using for every resource you have. Right. Um, tell me a little bit. I know we are always trying to do the more vegetables, get the find ways to get those in your diet. Tell me a little bit about the egg. That's okay, just a source of protein. Yeah, so for this particular recipe, it uses six eggs and serves six people. So we hear a lot about cholesterol and that is a concern, but we're having one egg per person. And if okay. you're thinking one time a day, that's a great way to get some nutrients, get some protein from an egg. Okay. So and they're that's, very inexpensive. Right. Well, kind of these days, yeah. right? Yeah. No. Depends, <laughs> but, but you know. Right. And it's a good source for, like you said, just a one pan meal, whether it be breakfast, lunch, dinner, yeah. everything in between. Yeah. It's, people do think of egg dishes as being just for breakfast, but this is a great brunch item. It's a great um, light, easy um, dinner item or dinner recipe, but you could also make this the day before, which we did for our Let's beauty say, here. Here is our beautiful finished product. So as you said, it gets a little more done as you've had it in the pan. Mm -hmm. And here's my point. I always love this part. Right. And everything is layered together and the egg makes it all hold together. And even making it the day before is even better for it to hold its shape. Oh my goodness. That's very good. Oh, As you. always, everything you do is delicious. Thank you. Thank you very much. You. If you want to learn more about this recipe or any other recipe, go ahead and head to our website, kjrh.com.